to have you. And here in Nigeria, the crisis in the People's Democratic Party, PDP, may not go away anytime soon, as the governor of River State, Nyesem Uike, continues to raise the dust. On Friday, in a world press conference, uh, he dares the party to suspend him. If it can, I went on to accuse the party's national chairman, Yorja Ayu, of taking a one billion naira bribe from a former presidential aspirant in Lagos. This was after the River State Governor's team pulled out of the campaign of the PDP presidential candidate, Atiku Abubakar. Joining us to discuss the development is a political analyst, uh, Philip Omar Deni. Uh, welcome to the show. It's good to have you with us. Um, how would you assess current rift in the PDP with uh, Governor Yisem uh, Wike, Atiku Abubakar, and Iocha Ayu as uh, principal actors? Honestly, I think it's a joke that has been taken too far. Something has to be done and has to be done now. People are waiting and they are looking. This is the opportunity I believe God has given us in PDP. And we are looking at it. We are, we are looking at it and it's almost slipping away, slipping off us. It's very bad. And it is my prayer that God will touch their heart, both parties, both sections of the factions, and they will come to their senses. It's very, very unfortunate. So more than it, now, okay, when, go ahead. When the campaign is just, when the campaign is just a few days to come, mm. it's a big, big, big mess. We are finding ourselves. It's gone beyond family now. I mean, all these days, all this month, they were saying it's family affairs, family affairs, but it's it's slipping off our hand, and I pray it doesn't slip. Indeed, Omode, uh, Mr. Omodeni. Now, critics have also faulted the emergence of Mr. Atiku Abubakar as PDP presidential candidate. And of course, uh, Governor Tambua's role during the primaries a few months ago. Could this have been avoided if they had settled the Southern presidency agitation issue? Well, but they all agreed to it. Our leaders in Alaji Abubakar, Alaji Atiku Abubakar, they all agreed to him leading us into this race, which he was doing. And he has comported himself so much that up to now, he has not put any force whatsoever on, on Ayu to quit. You know, that shows for you, our party as a, as, a, as a national party, yes, we are a national party. What we are experiencing now is true democracy because there is no father say, father, father told us to do this, father didn't say, father told us not to do this. There is nothing of such in PDP. That's all we are. That's a that's a type of democracy on one side, which is a plus, and Nigerians must see it that that way. Because if we dwell in what is going on now, guess what? This election, I mean, this campaign is going to start, and I don't even see I I don't see us taking a rightful position the way it's going. I pray there's still there's there's still avenue to sort it out. It's, it's still some few days to come. It's just campaign. It's not election yet. So we still have some ample of time, and I pray that that every, every of our leaders will come to their senses and let us move forward. Because we've stayed we've stayed too long at this juncture. Uh, indeed, Mr. Omodeni, uh, despite the uh, democratic nature as you've uh, described this, now Governor Wike is resolute on his demand for Iocha Ayu's resignation as chairman of the party, but the latter is not backing down. And uh, how will this pan out with uh, 2023 polls just around the corner, as you've already alluded to? Well, I believe senses we have to prevail at some point. We can't go on like this. We are going, I mean, all what is happening so far won't stop what is going to happen next week. Because few days time now, campaign is going to start. And when campaign starts, whoever wants to go with our leader, we go with him. Whoever doesn't want to go with him, we not go with him. Because, I mean, basically what is going on uh, now is how the national cake will be shared. And I believe they can, there's still ample of time to call themselves to the table and decide how we want to go. You know, yes, they all accepted our leader into the race, and he's the one leading us now. I don't see why we will not become the, the, a, a, a stopping block on what we are doing. This is our best chance, and I don't see anything stopping us. The campaign will start, we will start, and then whoever wants to follow, we follow the way things are going now. Hmm. As you described, the way things are going now. Now, do you see the APC leveraging on PDP's, uh, PDP's conflict to rally the electorate? Are they even doing enough despite two terms in office, you think? There is nothing APC has got to leverage on. They have their own problems. 
even some days ago, I still hear the former, um, the present secretary to the federal government saying, how can you just blatantly ignore some section of the ethnicity as in as in form of the uh, uh, Christians of the, in the north? And the other guy too was on the TV the other day, Dogara, the former uh, speaker, isn't it? He was, I mean, what was his position there? Senate president was his position. I can't even remember. It was standing for the Christians in the in the north. I don't care who, whether it's Christian or not. My own stand is not about Christian or not. But for you to now say it doesn't matter in a country like Nigeria of nowadays, which the current president has made it so bad that everybody is carrying their, their ethnicity on their head on the street for, for a party, a, man, a national party to now come to us and play on our sensibilities, ignore our sensitivity, ignore our, our reasonableness, and blatantly go to say, okay, we care, for, we care less, whatever you think. We are going for Christian ticket in a nation of millions of Christians, also in the, in the north. I think they are, they've taken too much to bite. All right. And they will pay for it. Very good. Uh, finally, Mr. Omedeni, and uh, I'd like you to be brief on this. Uh, realistically, you've mentioned the issue about the stumbling block and uh, other uh, challenges as well. But what impact, realistically, is PDP's issues having on the electorate, especially with uh, mass defections from one party to another, you think? Sorry, can you repeat your question? Yes, we're talking about uh, the mass defections uh, from one party or the other, the PDP issues. Uh, what impact is it having on the electorate? Who are going to vote in 2023? Briefly, please. Well, people who will vote, they will vote for PDP. I don't see PDP losing this election. In fact, what is going on now, we even rally, we, we rally people around and people with sympathy vote, there will be sympathy vote because they have put our leader in an, an in an awkward position now. That's the truth. I don't have any party, I mean, I don't have any section I'm for. I'm for PDP winning this election. And all this rancor going on, all this bitterness going on, all, all this, this is my own way, will not solve the problem on ground. I just pray that God will intervene for us in the next few days remaining before the campaign starts. Indeed. Philip Omodeni, Omodeni, rather, thank you very much for your uh, thoughts on the PDP crisis as it were. Thank you.